just a trucker. Weekend fun. Oh yes, when you live with dogs, this is what you find uh, yourself spending most of your free time doing. My better half is on the other side of the house right now with the mop, I believe. Well, there's the mop. Always cleaning. Because the goal is to make the house look like no dogs live here at all. Not an easy task. You gotta make sure you get underneath everything. Luckily here, I can just get right back to the back wall without moving it. But these couches, they're gonna have to move. Boys, if you wanna impress your wife, this is how you do it. Believe me, you'll thank me. I mean, we're trying to make a baby, so. Anything like this will help, I'm told. So here we are, doing our part. Do this now and we'll cash in later. How about that? Did I get a large steep tea? One milk. Coffee. One milk and half a sugar. For sure, anything else? An extra large coffee with two cream and a shot of espresso to go, please. Inside the coffee, yeah. The steep tea was one milk, half a sugar, yeah. Oh, one milk. Two cream. And that was everything? That was it. Super duper. She said something. She said thank you. She always hit that curb. Every time. Everyone hits that curb. Okay, so she took our order and then she took our order again. Mm -hmm. okay. That's okay. Someone got real excited about their Timmy's over there and they tried to burst through the wall and cut the line. Obviously. That actually looks like the snow plows did that. I bet you anything the snow plow did that. Somebody's in trouble. It's a piece of brick. Yeah, it's a, that's a cement fence. You don't see those every day. But they barred in co concrete straight down the way. Yep. Bet you they did this. Bet you they did. Yeah. I 
doesn't get that much. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. He's like, why did I become a cadet? Traffic duty. You'll get there, buddy. You'll get there. That is a bright orange Dodge. Something about Dodge. And the people that... I should be careful what I say here because you guys probably own those trucks. What is it about Dodge Ram trucks and their bright colors? You know, like lime green, bright orange, bright blue. Royal purple. Royal purple. It's always okay. Dodge. You never see a bright orange Chevy. Never. You do in the classic trucks sometimes. But... Sometimes. but it's just Or like a lime green F-150. That just doesn't exist. They're going to prove us wrong and send us pictures. Oh, now. probably. He's coming up behind us now. He's, oh, he heard us. Careful. Shh. Lock the doors. Wiener, don't look at him. Don't look at him. <laughs> so our... You mug them, aren't you? Our gracious overlords have allowed us to visit with our family. So we're very excited. Time. Yeah, we're very excited to go and see her, her dad and stepmom and her her new fuzzy little brother. You're gonna meet your uncle today. Your Maybe. young baby uncle. He's a bit of a brat too, he's a biter, so Wiener's gonna put him in his place. Yeah, so we gotta go and uh, see the little guy. They got a new puppy, that's what we're talking about. Her, her parents got a new puppy, so technically that makes the puppy her brother. Half. Half brother. <laughs> so there's the joke, just filling in for the people who are still like, what? what? Her brother, baby, uncle, what kind of weird family? My stepmother did not give birth. They got a <laughs> shorty. <laughs> uh, so we're out here in Winnipeg right now. We're just picking up some supper and we're gonna bring it on down there and enjoy an evening. Finally, after two months of strict lockdown, mm -hmm. we're, we're easing it just a little bit. Only two of us can go. And luckily for us, there's only two humans in our family. So, well, I wouldn't say luckily, but conveniently yeah, at the con moment. Very, yeah, true. Conveniently, there's only two humans in our family. So we can go and visit with their household, which also only has two humans. They don't consider family. our children to be humans, so yeah. we do. <laughs> I don't know. It's been an interesting yeah. year. Uh, so it is what it is. But we're excited. We're excited. We've been waiting for this. Wow. <laughs> Finally able to visit and they can't get enough of each other. It was love at first bite. Yep. Wiener. Do get him. Like your new uncle? Look how tired Wiener is already. <laughs> they played hard. <laughs> what a wiener. Whew, that's a workout, eh? Should we get a puppy? Come on, Wiener. Come on, Wiener. <laughs> <laughs> He's got those bug eyes going. Oh, hey, wiener? Hey, wiener? Hey, wiener? Any water? No, I don't hey, think sunny. I one of them has. Hey, Sunny. Say hello to everybody. <laughs> let's go. Hey, Cujo let's Jr. Sister, let go of me. His real name is Cujo. <laughs> sunny Chewbacca now. Sunny Chewbacca? Okay. Get him. They're just gonna play with each other into exhaustion. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's getting to be exhausting. Yeah, it's slow, definitely slow down a little. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not the detail. Don't bite me! You biter? So Sunny is a, a shorty, right? Yeah, she's a shorty. Now he's just over nine weeks old. And a holy terror. Huh? <laughs> but the cutest little thing when he's got a holy terror. Okay. Oh. None of that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No porn on that. <laughs> Keep it appropriate, boys. Yeah.
little biter. <laughs> <laughs> Time to head home, Wiener. You all tuckered out? Look at this little guy, he's gonna sleep like a baby. Yep. He is a baby. He's my Sorry. little baby. Are you gonna sleep hard? See you later, sunshine. Yep. Say bye yeah. to Uncle Sonny. Bye, Uncle Sonny. Bye bye. I don't really like you, but I do. <laughs> but I don't, but I do. People said they'd never see the day when they got a dog. Look yeah. at this. We got a dog. It happened. There's hope for everybody. <laughs> Find you. Uh, we can all get dogs. Uh, I'm gonna let him pee first, probably. Yeah, you gotta yeah, take safe, one for the road. Okay. Oh. We'll do. Yeah, there it is. Don't forget that. <laughs> it's important. Just arriving back, back in town. I explained to them yesterday or the day before the difference between the city and town. Even though Steinbach is technically a city. But it's not the city. No. It's a city, but it's not the city. In Manitoba speak, when anybody in Manitoba says the city, they're talking about Winnipeg. They're not talking about Brandon, they're not talking about Portage. It is the capital of Manitoba. Mm -hmm. And it's where about what, 98% of people in Manitoba live? Somewhere, somewhere I cannot confirm or deny that statement because I have no hot clue. Steinbeck is the third largest city in Manitoba. So we're on the top three, we're on the podium. We're quite something. Is that still true? I think so. I know Winkler's pretty big though too. Yeah, I thought they were bigger than us. Apparently not. Didn't they vote Walmart before us? Yeah, they did. Didn't make sense. Huh. Didn't make sense at all. I was very jealous. But now we have a Walmart, so everything's okay now. The world is okay. It's fine. They've righted all the wrongs in the southeast. The rivalry between Dietz and Yonzi. We settled this side first, so technically this is this is the real side. But we're looking forward to getting home now to our boys. We're a little bit late for their supper, so they're gonna be a little extra hungry and very confused. <laughs> they're gonna be able to smell the little guy on us. And on Wiener. He mm -hmm. smells like the puppy. Hey, okay? smell like your new buddy, Uncle Sonny. Uncle Sonny. So I've been editing this video here and I've got company. <laughs> He's been here the whole time. I usually have that heater running. He likes it because it's warm under there. So it's the next day here. We got my publisher right here. We got my... Uh, Backup editor over there. Just taking a break. I've been doing all the work around here, like usual. They're not much help. But they do provide good company. They always have to be in whatever room I'm in. And this is their king size bed. So our dogs have a bigger bed than we do. So it's the next day and I don't want to spoil too much of tomorrow's vlog, but I'm here by myself at home and uh, in order to find out why, I guess you're going to have to watch tomorrow's video and see what happened. <sighs> Don't spread any bad rumors, okay? I'm only going to be alone for a couple of hours, okay? I've got the house to myself for a couple of hours, so... Any of these crazy rumors I've seen spreading around, okay? <laughs> it's all good. Uh, Brett's at work. There you go, I said it. And i got the whole house to myself. I don't know what to do with myself, I'm so excited. So I came back here, got my work done, and I've got my PlayStation. Well, I had my PlayStation going out here, I guess it turned off on its own. That means I took too long to edit my video, clearly. And yeah, I'm just gonna go wash the pickup, do some hanging out, some, uh... I'll figure it out. I haven't had the house myself in a while, so we'll figure it out. Uh, join me tomorrow and help me figure it out, please. So, uh, with the easing of restrictions, uh, over the past two and a half months, we've been on what they call lockdown. That's kind of a scary word to use for it because it's not really a lockdown. It was... We weren't in prison, like we, but it was very uncomfortable. We didn't like it. Um, they're easing some of these restrictions now so we can go visiting 
with a couple of people. And also, obviously, Britt can go back to work, which is great for her and for us because she's been forced out of work uh, by this health order for two and a half months now already. So she's really excited to get back, uh, get back at it. She loves her job. She loves what she does. Sort of like me. We both really love what we do, which is uh, it's very fortunate for us because I know that there's a lot of people out there, probably a lot of people out there who don't like what they do, and that must be... You know, it would be terrible to wake up every day and do a job that you hate, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do, right? So we're both very fortunate. And, uh, oh, she was just ecstatic this morning. She was in such a good mood. She was so happy. Maybe she just wants to get away from me. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure it's the job. She really loves the job, and she loves her co-workers there. And she hasn't seen them in two and a half months. So I'm happy for her. It's also a Sunday today when I'm finishing this. This is Saturday's video, but I'm just finishing the video and updating you on what's going on a little bit. And uh, Sunday shopping is now allowed out in the southeast of Manitoba here in Steinbeck. So we'll talk about that more tomorrow. So it opens up more opportunity for more hours for her at work. And uh, yeah, we're going to keep on keeping on. I really like what I'm doing now. Uh, really feel like we got ourselves in a really good position. Uh, like we, like I said, we sold our old house, expensive house. Uh, with the with the profits off that house, we were able to pay off both of our vehicles. Uh, we were able to get into a smaller house here that we actually turned. It turns out we really love this house. It's it's grown on us so quickly, and we're much happier here than we were at our old place. Very low maintenance. Like right now, it's all winter time, so there's nothing to do outside but shovel snow, anyways. But in winter, in summertime. Mowing the lawn will literally take 20 minutes, if that, with a push mower. And then we have our spot outside of town yet where we're going to be building in a few years. <clears throat> so uh, we're going to keep our heads up and uh, nose to the grind. I think that's how the saying goes. I always forget. Keep working hard and keep our goals in sight. And work towards achieving every single one of them. And just winning on a daily basis. Always being, trying to be number one, always trying to be a winner. That's what I want to pass forward on to you guys through my vlogs. Be a little bit of a motivational character, I guess. You have to be humble when you don't win because you're not going to win every time. You have to be able to accept defeat, but also don't give up when you are defeated. Use that as a stepping stone and as a learning experience to win next time. So you get up the next day. Use what you learned from your defeat yesterday and apply that to today and try again. We're going to keep our goals in sight and uh, with everything going on in the world right now, it's tough to stay positive, believe me. Uh, I'm able to edit out some stuff in my videos and I, I can choose what I talk about. Not every day is a good day for me. I don't want you to think that I'm some kind of like abnormal person. We all have bad days, I'm just like you but I choose to focus on the positive and I choose to only share the positive because there's enough negative in the world right now. I'm sure you guys don't need any more of it from me. So I'd rather encourage you with the positive points of my day and the positive points of my life so that we focus on those things instead. Because if you turn on the TV, you're gonna get all the negative stuff going on. They, they feed off negativity. Bad news sells, good news doesn't sell. All right, if there's something good that happened, it, that, that's, that's not what people wanna hear. It seems that way, because the news is always going to focus on the bad. So here on this channel, I want to focus on the good things going on, while still recognizing this world's not perfect, especially this last year, the year we're in right now, with this whole pandemic and really strange lockdowns, um, that we we got to keep looking up, we got to keep pushing forward. Hopefully I can help motivate you a little bit, because there's nothing we can do about what's going on really but on our own. I'm not a doctor. I, I can't tell you what's happening. I can tell you my opinions on it, but you already know them. I'm kind of on both sides of the fence, you know? I see both sides of it. I see what it can do to people, how it can get you sick. But I also see the side of it where uh, locking us in our homes and preventing us from seeing our loved ones really, really puts people into a very dark place. And depression can really lead to even worse consequences in some cases. So I see both sides of it, but 
The only thing I can do is try to stay positive here on this channel. I've been rambling for almost six minutes here already. I hope you guys had a great day. Let's focus on what's good. Tell yourself today's gonna be a good day because you'd be surprised what you can speak into existence and what can happen when you just set your mind on the positive and say, okay, I don't care what's gonna happen today. We're gonna make it a good day. And if it turns out to be a bad day, I, ha I have bad days too. You're not the only one. Try again tomorrow. That's all I can tell you. Anyways, been rambling long enough here. I wanted to get some stuff off my chest here and uh, let you guys know that I also do have bad days. But they become less and less the more I focus on making it a good day, even, even when that seems impossible. Talk to you tomorrow, everybody. If you lasted this long in the video, you're probably tired of my voice by now. I hope that by tomorrow you will be uh, okay with some more of my voice because there's going to be another video tomorrow and I hope you tune in. Take care, everybody. Have a great weekend.